Hey guys, welcome to my cybersecurity YouTube channel. Do you have an old laptop laying around or simply do you want to make your current laptop run faster and efficiently? Well, you're in luck. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to accomplish this. Simply by installing a clean version of Linux, not only will you revive your laptop, but by doing so, you'll have instant access to a Linux operating system that you can practice on without the need of a virtual machine. All right guys, let's get started. First, what you'll need is an old laptop or any laptop you might have laying around, a USB flash drive, four gigabytes minimum, a Linux distribution, Rufus, and most importantly, a curious mind. Now we wanna start off by downloading Rufus. Go to Google and type in Rufus and it'll be the first link here. Now we need Rufus to write the ISO file to the USB flash drive. With Rufus, we'll be creating a bootable flash drive and that's how we'll be installing our Linux distribution here. Okay, so let's click on the link here. Scroll down. As of today, the latest version is 3.21. You wanna go ahead and download that. That shouldn't take too long. It's only a small file. Now we do need to download the Linux distribution. There's many different Linux distributions out there, such as Zorin OS Lite version. That's what I'll be downloading today. And the reason is because the laptop I have is very old. Now I have tried other Linux distributions. They weren't as lightweight as I wanted them to be. The laptop I have right now is only four gigabytes of RAM. With the other Linux distributions, I do recommend having at least eight gigabytes if you want to download them. And with today, I'll be downloading Lights, and that's for basic use on low spec PCs up to 15 years old. So any old laptop you have laying around, you can definitely bring it back to life with this OS. If you do have a modern laptop or computer, you can use the core version and it's for basic modern computers. Now there's other Linux distributions such as Kali and you'll be installing the installer image, either 64 or 32 bit depending on what you have. Keep in mind it is 3.5 gigabytes. So make sure you have more than four gigabytes of uh, on a USB flash drive. There's Para OS. They have different versions here. A security edition, home edition, hack the box, Cloud Edition, Architect, and then Raspberry Pi. The Home Edition is one of my favorites, and it's basically for daily use and privacy, and it's a very lightweight distribution. Moving on to Ubuntu, they have many different flavors here, and each has their own description. So whichever you think will be the right fit, go ahead with that one. Now, after you've decided which Linux distribution to download, I suggest doing the download right away. It is a couple gigabytes, so depending on your internet connection, it can take a while. Before we do get started, I do recommend packing up any important files you might have on your laptop to an external drive or cloud storage service because we will be doing a clean installation of a new operating system and it will overwrite your data. Start by plugging in your USB flash drive to your computer. Okay, once you have your USB flash drive plugged in, let's open up Rufus. Now under device, make sure your USB flash drive is selected. Okay, now we want to select the ISO file. Open. You can leave everything default and you can rename your USB flash drive here if you wish to do so. Once you're ready, click start. Now you might get this pop-up window with the ISO hybrid image detected. Leave it at the recommended option, hit okay. And it's giving you a final warning that all data on your USB flash drive will be destroyed. Hit okay. Now it'll start writing your ISO file to the USB flash drive. All right, as soon as it's complete, it will say you're ready and we can eject the USB flash drive now. Okay, start by plugging in your USB flash drive. You want to make sure your laptop is completely shut off and then restart it. While your laptop is booting up, you want to repeatedly press F10, F11, F12, depending on your manufacturer. I'll leave a link in the description and it will show what keys you may need to press. Once you're in the BIOS, you want to head over to boot, over over to USB boot. Right now it's disabled. You want to hit enter, go down to enabled, Hit enter. The last thing what we want to do is move our USB flash drive as the number one in the boot priority order. To do this, hover over the name of your USB flash drive and press F6 to move it up the list. Once you have it at number one, head over to exit and hit enter on exit saving changes. And yes. On the next boot up, you will get another boot menu and it's going to say try or install Zorin OS with other options. If your laptop has a NVIDIA card, you may want to go with that option instead. Otherwise, hit enter on try or install Zorin OS. On boot up, you'll notice a new screen pop up. 
and this is the laptop booting from your USB flash drive. You'll get to a welcome screen. You can either try Zorin OS right from your USB flash drive or go straight to installing the OS. If you do decide to try the OS, the OS is running from your USB flash drive, so it may be slower than being on your laptop's memory. Once you're ready, click install. Choose your preferred keyboard layout. I do recommend your laptop to your Wi-Fi network or Ethernet. By doing so, you can make sure during installation, all the necessary updates will be installed. Updates and other software. I recommend checking download updates while installing Zorin OS and install any third-party software for your graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. For installation type, since we only want to have Zorin OS installed and not alongside another OS or do manual partitioning, select erase disk and install Zorin OS. Note the warning, this will delete all your data on your current laptop. By now, if you have any important information, make sure you do a backup before you continue. Click install. On this window, click continue. Where are you? Put your location for date and time. Who are you? In this section, you want to type in your name, your computer's name, a username and a password. You can choose to log in automatically, but for security reasons, I do not recommend that. I do recommend requiring my password to log in. Great feature is you can use Active Directory, but that will be for another video. Click continue and Zorin OS will begin the installation. Okay, installation is complete. What we wanna do now is restart the computer. Let's click on restart now. On boot up, you should get the following screen with a message saying, please remove the installation medium and then press enter. In other words, at this point, you want to remove your USB flash drive from the laptop. After hitting enter, your new OS will start loading up. You should get a login screen, enter your password, and there you have it. We have successfully installed a clean version of Linux on an old laptop. We brought it back to live. Now it will run faster and efficiently and your laptop will thank you later. Now you have instant access to a Linux operating system. You can practice your Linux skills without the need of a virtual machine. Now you can go ahead and tweak your laptop to your liking. I always go with a dark theme whenever possible on any device on my laptop, computer, phone, social media apps, you name it. And lastly, before I let you go, if you ever restart your computer and you don't see a boot menu load up and you want to have a boot menu, let me quickly show you how to bring up a boot menu. Now you want to open up a terminal, okay, and type the following commands, sudo nano etsy default grub. Enter your password. What we want to edit is the grub default, change it to saved, grub timeout style, change it to menu, and the grub timeout change it to 10. You can do this with any editor. Just make sure you save your settings and you should be good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and maybe the notification bell. If you made it this far, comment if your team dark theme or team light theme, and I'll see you in the next one.